There's nobody uh, in front of you that you have to follow. You really need to be able to to hurt yourself and to give yourself uh, a lot of pain. I think uh, it's 50% in the head. So also when I'm weak in the head, uh, doesn't matter how strong my body is, I won't win the TT. Those are the words of a man who has become the cyclist to beat against the clock. 29-year-old German Tony Martin continues to leave the competition in his wake in the time trials. His palmarès includes three Grand Tour stages, an Olympic silver medal and three world titles in the individual time trial. Next on his agenda could be the world hour record. It's really interesting for me, for sure, especially when big riders like Cacciolava and Wiggins will go for it. I think it can be a really nice battle. Um, I can, uh, I can imagine that I also will go for it, but when and how, it's really open for me. Tony Martin's principal focus this season will instead be retaining his rainbow jersey in Ponferrada, Spain in September. Last year, he clinched a third consecutive victory in the individual TT, averaging some 52.91 kilometers per hour to rival the speed at which he won the team time trial with his team Omega Pharma Quickstep just a few days previously. It's a nice discipline for me and I would wish uh, maybe also to break the record one, one time. It was really the, the big goal of the season because it was a, a big chance to win the title also in Raw. Yeah, I knew there's just one chance and not another one coming up, up in the future. So uh, the pressure was really high but uh, when I knew that I, I won the third title it was really Incredible for me was just all the pressure was coming up and uh, was just yeah happiness in my in my body. The likes of Bradley Wiggins and Fabian Cancellara finished some 46 and 48 seconds back respectively, leading some to suggest that Tony Martin is becoming unstoppable in the race of truth. However, at the Tour de Romandie in May, he was trumped by Tour de France champion Chris Froome in the final TT. The Briton also ran him close in the Grand Boucle in 2013. You just have to look at the results. I mean, last year he was really close to me. Uh, by his second uh, place in the, in the flat uh, TT. So he's really strong one. Um, I think uh, when the time trials are harder, more hilly, um, he's really one of the best uh, TT riders in the world, so uh, no question about it, uh, that he's always a dangerous contender. With his rivals in mind, Tony Martin continues to push the boundaries in an attempt to improve his performances. His bike is tailored to his specification and kitted out with the latest technology so he can achieve the optimum result against the clock. I really like to, to work with, with the mechanics. Um, uh, I know that I really have one of the best guys around me that always give me new, new input, new ideas. And you try maybe 10 new things and nine won't work out. And one maybe you see a little bit advantage. So um, it's just really, really just can change small details. Der Panzerwagen will look to dominate the TTs again this year. But in the future, he could switch his attentions to a somewhat different discipline. Yeah, the big goal is uh, like always the, the World Championships at the end of the season. I mean, that is really the biggest one. Then as well, um, the Tour de France with a time trial at the end of the of the Tour. Also, we'll see how I will uh, go with the couples in the Tour de France. So it also can give you a little bit of direction for the future. So I'm open for everything and um, yeah, maybe I will do in the future some more. Well, one day races.